What is the mother? Deal with y'all, man. It's your boy. My fault, my fault. What's the deal with y'all, man? It's your boy, Runaway Ron, back at the 92.3 L3. Ooh, 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 yeah. Man, oh, God. it's your boy, Runaway Ron, ran towards the best version of myself as you should be, too. Y'all already know how the intro go. Man, y'all seen the title. It's another b -b -b banger. You feel me? We're gonna really talk about some shit today. You feel me? Um. Yeah, man, y'all seen the title? You feel me? Shout out to my guy, Noah, for the video request. I love video requests, bro. It makes it easier for me to do content, bro. I don't got to come up with this shit in my head. So, yeah, man. And I feel like I could personally relate to this because niggas have did it, you know? So, without further ado, y'all seen the title, man. Y'all already know what it is. Let's get right into it. The video. <laughs> All right, bet, 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 bet. Uh, how to get more confidence, man. Ooh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, man. So, you know, I'm gonna try to approach this in a structural way, right? What is confidence? Confidence. My definition of confidence is believing in yourself, believing you could do anything, feeling good about yourself, knowing that you are comfortable with yourself, not being insecure about yourself, not saying there aren't going to be any, but you believe in yourself, you're comfortable with yourself more than you're insecure about yourself. So you're not even really thinking about your insecurities, real spill, because you're so confident in yourself, so comfortable with yourself, right? Is confidence something that could really be gained? Can it really, like, what is confidence? I feel like confidence, confidence, I don't know. I don't think confidence is just something, maybe for some people it is. I don't think confidence is something that you could just switch, like you could turn on and off. I view confidence as more like, like a baseline, like a neutral feeling. Like you're not just confident sometimes. You're either confident all the time or none of the time or most of the time. You know what I mean? Like. It ain't like, it's not like you see a girl walk and it's like, all right, let me be confident. Boom, let me turn it on real quick. Like, I don't, like, it's just like, oh, yeah, let me just go handle this. All right, you know what I want? You feel me? Let me just go handle this. You feel me? Like, everyone has, like, a baseline level of confidence. And that shit might be hella low or it might be super high, which will make that decision on you being able to maybe walk up to that girl, not stutter when ordering your food, feeling good about yourself in a job interview, whatever the case may be, right? So how do we get confidence, man? For me, I don't think, I think you need to have a reason. I believe you need to have a reason to be confident. I don't think you could just be confident just for the fuck's sake of it. Like you're confident for a reason. Like some people, people that are attractive, they're confident because they know they're attractive. People that aren't confident, might not be confident because they know or they feel or they view themselves as not being attractive if you just want to take it at that scale, right? But even if you feel like you're not attractive, there are other ways to get confidence, such as improving. Improving what, bro? Improving in any way, shape, or form. There's so many ways to improve your life and improve yourself, and I'm not to name a few of them, such as Getting your physique right, your health, getting in the gym, your physical appearance, you feel me? Making sure you're taking care of everything, your hair, your, your face, your teeth, your, your beard, you know, how you dress, you feel me? Can you put that shit on for real, bro? These are stuff that you have to work on in order to feel good. All of this stuff as a collective is going to be the result of how much your confidence or your confident learning skills ultimately having value. I wasn't confident. I mean, I, ugh, shit, I wasn't, I'm not going to cap. Me being as comfortable as I am today, like I was always kind of confident, but my baseline confidence level didn't increase until the year 2022 happened. Until I was constantly, consistently in the gym, consistently improving for the better, and consistently growing my mind, consistently working on myself every day, day by day. 
And then over time, after a few months, I'm naturally more confident in myself. It's not even like I even was aware of it. I just started noticing how I approach certain situations, how I had conversations with people when I just went to go order food or I was getting some service done. I'm at the car, you know, whatever, just out in the world. Usually I order food before I was working on myself. I would just order the food, give them my card, look somewhere like a fucking weirdo, like an NPC. Just and I wouldn't talk. And then over time, after I started being on my purpose, getting on my journey, I give him the car. Yeah, how's your day? Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Do you do you take food home or how long are you here today? Oh, I'm here all day. I'm closing. That's okay. That's a good day. That means you're making money. Like I'm having conversations with people and then people actually start to get receptive of my energy and now they're engaging in the conversation and now you get good vibes all around. And that all just stems from just being confident in yourself. And what happens when you're also confident? You're, you're not worried about what anybody else is thinking. Those thoughts aren't even being generated. I promise you. Yeah, it's going to be a point in time where you're having these conversations, still subconsciously thinking about what to say or how you're being viewed. But ultimately, eventually, you're not even thinking about that. You're like, you generally want to have a conversation. You genuinely want to see how this individual is doing because you know that this individual may not be having conversations like this on a day by day basis. After you, you might be gone They're The next person that orders or take their uh, or places their order for their food might not ask them how their day was. They're going to give them their car, shut the fuck up and they're going to do their job. They don't give a fuck. Most people don't care. When you start to become confident in yourself, you're going to start to care for other people because you're going <laughs> to you're going to catch vibes, bro. Not a lot of people are going to have high vibrations. I talk to people. I've been had, I have numerous amount of jobs. I've been in the world doing numerous, you know, just regular shit. People be like, damn, you have good energy. Damn, you're high vibrational. I've had people tell me you have a high vibration. And I'm like, shoot, bro. Like, I'm, I'm always like this, bro. Like, <laughs> this is regular for me because I'm confident in myself. I'm confident, bro. I'm not even worried about, like insecure about what bro i put in the work the only way you're gonna get confident in yourself is if you go put in the work you need to go have a reason to be confident in yourself you can't be confident in yourself when you sitting in the bed <laughs> yanking the noodles smoking not doing nothing bro you how are you confident when you ain't doing shit why what's your reason of being confident i i don't know i'm not i'm, I'm only telling you how i got confident how what i believe you could attribute how you could gain confidence, what confidence is. The moment you start working on yourself, the moment you'll start to gain confidence. And I'm not saying you improve your life for the better for a week or two and you, you, you expect to be, yeah, I could do anything. Like, bro, chill. Chill. You've been doing these bad habits. You have not even been improving yourself for these years and years and years. Go work on yourself for a prolonged period of time, and then naturally, you're going to start to have a higher baseline confidence level, bro. That's what you want, where it's not even you don't got to get it out of you to go have that extra conversation to approach that girl. It's already like you was just, you got a smoothie somewhere, you walk in, you see a girl that you think is attractive. Oh, I'm on that. And you're not even worried about what she might. Nah, I'm on that, bro. I'm already knowing what the game plan is. Uh, you go run the play, whether it's a fail or a success, bro. Like that ain't even got nothing to do with how you're confident. The outcome doesn't even matter. We're not outcome dependent. When you're confident, you're not even worried about the outcome. You're just doing. You're in the now. You're just doing, bro, because you're so comfortable with yourself. That's what I think confidence is. I'm going to stop saying confident and confidence. I'm going to start saying comfortable with yourself. You want to get comfortable with yourself, bro comfortable how you talk, comfortable how you hold and convey conversations, comfortable with your lingo and how you speak. I have to get comfortable with myself again going back to school in San Francisco because I'm not around people that are similar like me. I'm not around people that have the same lingo like me, that are into the same things, that are, you know, in the same environment like me. And I still have to be comfortable with myself to talk how I talk, use the lingo how I, how I use lingo. There was a time I was ordering the food. I said, bet, I appreciate it. She was like, bet what? Bet, what are we betting on? I said, oh, my fault, my fault. Um, and I switched, I said, thank you. I just said, thank you. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm in a whole different environment. They're not going to understand. But I'm still, I still said it, but it's just, I had to clarify what I meant by that. I was talking to some girl. She was telling me something, something, something. I was like, 
damn, you was in the cut. Like, she was ducked off. She was hiding. Like, you was in the cut when that happened, huh? She's like, in the cut? Like, some of y'all might be even listening to me. Like, what does in the cut mean? Like, you was ducked off. Like, you feel me? Something crazy started happening in the workplace, and you was ducked off. Like, you was in the back looking. Like, you was hiding. I told her, like, you was pretty much hiding. She's like, oh, yeah, I was hiding for sure. I was scared. And nah, ah, 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 ah. She's like, that's what in the cut means? I'm like, yeah, you was in the cut. You was ducked off. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah, bro. Still being comfortable with yourself in its, in its entirety. Don't conform. Just because they might not understand don't mean you start switching up. Yo, Lee, yo, yo, get down. No, bro. No. And as you keep having these conversations, as you keep becoming comfortable with yourself in these aspects of life, in these interactions, in these situations, it's your baseline confidence level is just going to go, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. And to the point where you're not even actively working on it. Now it's just you. Now you're just a confident individual. Now you're just an individual that's comfortable with themselves. And that's the goal. Where nothing phases you, bro. There should be no point in time where you're not comfortable to be yourself. There should be no point in time where you're not comfortable with yourself, bro. Because why shouldn't we be? The only time we're not comfortable with yourself is when we're thinking about other people and what they think about us. When we're thinking about our insecurities, man. To be confident and be comfortable with yourself, you got to let that shit go, bro. Because opinions of others are what? They're things that we can't control. People are going to think regardless. People are going to think something regardless, whether you're comfortable with yourself or confident or not. People are going to talk anyway, so why not just give them something to talk about? <laughs> you want to talk about how much of a bitch you are, or you want to talk about how much of a nigga you are, how much of a confident person you are? Cause they gonna talk regardless, bro. So it don't it don't even matter. The shit don't matter, bro. And it also starts with the mind too. So along with giving yourself a tangible, clear thing to see, clear reason to be comfortable with yourself, to be confident, you have to be telling yourself in the mind, bro. Like, yeah, anything that isn't attributing to my confidence level, anything that isn't attributing to me being comfortable with myself, doesn't matter. Such as worrying about what people think if I say this or if I dress this way or if I put my hair like like any that shit don't matter. A lot of this shit in life don't matter, bro. And the sooner you figure that out, the sooner you'll be more comfortable with yourself. The sooner you'll the sooner you'll be able to let opinions and insecurities go. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And I feel like being comfortable with yourself is being something that you have to maintain. I'm not going to lie. Y'all probably seen that video where I was I was I was a bitch made, bro, talking about, you know, that inner that that girl. You feel me? As 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 quick as you got your as long as you got your confidence, how long it took you to get it, that shit could be gone just like that. And I'm going to tell y'all how to not lose your confidence, bro. You know, I'm um, moving in and settling in uh at my school. I started getting complacent. I started getting uh comfortable what I started doing. You feel me? <sighs> Your boy yanking the noodle more than what he was before he went to fucking back to school. I'm not in the gym as much, right? I, I ain't had a haircut in like a month and some change. That shit is going to bring your baseline confidence level down. Want to know why? Because you know you're not doing your shit. You know you're not on your hustle. You know you're not on your purpose. So why should you be confident? Why should you be comfortable with yourself when you know you bullshitting? I'm thinking to myself like, yeah, I don't even have the right to even go approach her. Knowing that I'm not on my purpose. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. So then last week and the week before that, last week, that week, bro, I hit the gym every day. Didn't yank every day, bro. I'm, I'm back on my shit. Got a cut. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm back. When I get back to school, I'm finna go get me a job, bro. Like, bro, I'm back in motion because I'm like, ooh, I don't like this feeling. I was comfortable and confident with myself for a long ass time. Being on my hustle, getting this fucking money. You feel me? Not having a job. I'm dipping into the savings. You know, I'm going back into these bad habits, nigga smoking. Like, yeah, bro, I don't like this feeling, bro. Because when I see a girl I want to approach or I'm having conversations and people are talking to me, bro, I know. I just feel it that I'm not my most authentic self. I'm not my most comfortable version of myself. And I do not want to go back. So what I do? I was aware and I switched it. Boom. I said, nope. Now I'm back. I'm back in the grind mode. And of course it was hard. I'm waking up in the morning at 6.30. It's cold as fuck. It's like 32 degrees. I'm like, nah, bro, get your ass up. I've been getting to the gym in the morning, bro. And now it's back in routine. Now I'm back. Now I'm back on my shit. Bro, I'm on day five, day seven, like not even like, bro, like I'm back on my shit, fool. And it feels good. 
Just like that, bro, like, <laughs> I could have been back in those same bad habits, not giving myself a reason to be confident or comfortable. But now I'm back on my grind, back on my purpose, back getting this money. Like, yeah, bro, I'm back. I'm back. Slow motion is better than no motion. I was putting myself in a position to have no motion. You know, I like being confident. I like being comfortable, bro. I like feeling like that nigga, bro. And it's funny because when you're doing the things to feel like that guy, to be comfortable, to be confident, you're going to know exactly when that point in time comes when you're not that guy and you're not doing the things that you need to do. You're going to be like, ooh, I ain't going to the gym all week. Ooh, I only went to the gym two days this week. Ooh, I've been whacking off. Ooh, I've been smoking. Ooh, I ain't been reading or journaling. Ooh, I ain't been learning no fucking skills. Oh, I ain't been going to work. I've been calling off. I ain't been getting no money. Now you're going to start to feel bad, bro. Now you're going to start to feel not as confident in yourself because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Ultimately, ultimately, being comfortable with yourself, being confident. I know I said this shit. I should have like a little counter how many times I said that shit. But being comfortable and confident with yourself, for me, goes back to having a reason, having value, knowing that you have value to provide, knowing that you have value within yourself right? It's almost like basketball, like, or any video game, anything that you're good at. When you know you're good at something, you're going to pop your shit. You're going to talk a little shit with it. You feel me? Because you know you have a reason to talk your shit because you know you that nigga in whatever aspect of life that is. So we need to get that aspect of life for overall, to have that overall feeling about our whole life so that we could walk like, yeah, like I got, I got swag with my walk. I look good. You feel me? Like I dress good. I feel good. You look good. You feel good. You do good shit. You going to feel good shit, you know? So go put in the work, go put in the work. And I keep saying it, bro. You can't forget. Don't put in the work for a week or two weeks or a month. Go put in the fucking work for six to eight months up to a year. And that just because you hit six to eight months or a year don't mean stop. No. Just go put in the work and don't freak and just don't even think about the results. Just go do it. You worried about the wrong shit, bro. <laughs> you worried about the end goal instead of the journey. Come on, bro. The journey is the best part. Because when you get to that end goal, you're going to be like, damn. I remember when I was in the journey, hustling, thugging it, getting it out the mud, working on myself. Like, yeah, that was personal growth, personal development. That should be the aspect of life that you want. Come on, bro. We're not worried about the end goal. We're worried about the journey because we can only go day by day. We're in the journey day by day. So how do you want your journey to go? I don't know, bro. <laughs> I'm really that nigga. Like dead ass. And you got to feel that way too, bro. I'm really that guy, bro. And when you fucking talk and when you walk, people going to see that shit, bro. People going to see that shit, bro. People going to, yeah, people going to catch the vibe. They going to catch the energy. Like who the fuck you think he is? Shit, I'm that nigga, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's who I am. I have value. And you be like, well, what makes you that nigga? And I can tell you. I read every day. I'm acknowledgeable in ah, 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 aspect of life. I'm credible in these topics of interest. I go to the gym. I'm financially well off. <laughs> I take care of my uh, physical appearance. I'm healthy. I go to the doctor. Like, I'm good. I'm good. I have skills. I have a degree. I learn how to, uh, uh, uh. Oh, I also make music. I make clothes. I draw. I go roller skating. I'm good at it. I go airsoft. I go paintballing. You know, I have, uh, like, bro, come on, bro. And when you know, you're not even going to have to think hard. You're not even going to have to try to think hard about it. You're just going to be like, oh, I'm that nigga because, uh, you already know, bro. And then when you pop your shit to people, like, okay, yeah, he is that. They're going to be like, he is that nigga. Want to know why? Because you're probably doing more than majority of individuals. Majority of individuals aren't even aware. They're not even working on themselves consciously. They're not even like, yeah, you're going to have people feeling bad about themselves because they're not doing what you're doing. That's how you want to be. I remember, man, I remember before I was on my purpose and shit, bro. I was at the gym back in school, bro. I seen this dude and, uh... We was at the gym. Yeah, I was at the gym, bro. And the way he was just talking, he just had swagger on him, bro. Like, like, and I'm just like, damn, I don't even want to hoop, bro. Like, I don't even want to get on the court, bro, because he just made me feel bad about myself. And mind you, he ain't even talked to me. I just seen him and knew. I just seen how he talked to other people, how he played. I'm like, yeah, bro, I don't even like, yeah, bro. I want to be that guy making people feel bad about themselves because I'm just so on my shit. So that nigga. 
You want to be that individual too, bro. And what is that going to do? You're just going to push people to be better versions of themselves, bro. What else? I don't know, man. So, um, yeah, I think this was a good, good amount of information on how to get confident, bro. If I had to sum up this whole video in under a minute, a summary, this is what it would be. How to be confident. You have to go attain value for yourself. You have to be working on yourself. You have to give yourself a reason to be confident. Okay? The specifics, financially be well. Be working on your financials. Be working on your physical appearance. Be working on your mental health, your physical health. Do shit, bro. Ultimately, one sentence, how to be confident. Give yourself a reason to be confident. The only time you're not confident is because you ain't got no fucking reason to be confident. You smoking all day, whacking your shit, bro, not getting nothing done. Being a bum. You're being a bum. <laughs> you're being a bum that get no money and don't do shit, bro. You ain't got no purpose. That's the only time you don't feel confident. So, yeah, let's not be the bum. Let's go be the person that's hmm, opposite of that, all right? So, yeah, man, you feel me? I'm going to leave it at that before this video gets any longer, bro. Um, Noah, I appreciate you tuning into the video. What am I talking about? Noah, I appreciate you giving the video request, man. I love the request. Um, if y'all have any more video requests, drop them down in the comments. All are accepted. You feel me? And yeah, that's pretty much it, bro. I hope you guys was able to gain some value, something from this video, if it's anything. And yeah, it's your boy. <laughs> what the fuck was that i don't know bro i don't know that's just me that's just me um it's your boy runaway ron man running towards the best version of myself and i'm running out of here man actually we gotta do that again because it's your boy runaway ron running towards the best version of myself as you should be too and now i'm running out of here.